Parisian landmark turned into a crime scene. The Champs-Élysées is one of the busiest parts of town, but on Thursday night, it was the target of what appears to be another terror attack. Just before 9 p.m. local time, a man fired at a police van with an automatic weapon. A police officer was killed, two others wounded. It was a terrorist. He came out with a Kalashnikov and started shooting, but he could have shot us on the pavement and killed more people with a spray of shots. But he targeted the policeman. Unfortunately, there were the policemen who killed him. French prosecutors say the lone gunman was known to them. He was shot dead by security forces as he tried to flee the scene. Daesh claimed responsibility and named the attacker as Abu Yusuf al baljiki President François Hollande reassured the French and called an emergency meeting of his security cabinet. We are sure that the leads in the investigation will reveal the incident as terrorist in nature. I've called for a defence council meeting at 8 a.m. Everything is being done to make sure our security forces, policemen and soldiers are mobilised to the greatest possible extent, given the circumstances. The attack comes just days before the presidential election in France. All candidates were quick to react to the incident during the final TV debate. I left the set earlier, and I heard that the nightmare is starting again. I was gripped by feelings I felt before, of sadness and dull anger at the same time. Feelings of sadness, of course, for the law enforcement officers, who are once more paying a heavy price in the fight against Islamic fundamentalism, and dull anger because I feel that not everything is being done. First and foremost, we have to come together in solidarity with our police, the ones who have been killed and injured, and also the ones putting their lives on the line to ensure our security. We also have to show our solidarity with the French population, which is growing ever more concerned with the growing number of these terrorist acts. We all aspire to become President of the Republic, and the first duty of the President is to protect. Tonight, while we've been talking, we know that at least one police officer has been killed. We don't know exactly what happened. We know that another one is injured. The threat is incalculable, and it's going to be part of our daily lives for years to come. Terrorism hasn't really been an issue widely explored during the presidential campaign. But with less than 48 hours to go, the question now is what impact will this attack have on the first round of the vote on Sunday? Annelise Borges, TRT World, Paris.